Today we're going to talk about the one thing you need to be successful in business. You don't need 18 different things. You need this one thing. Let me tell you a story. Well, it's on Craigslist. I got some haters because we used to post literally 100 ads a day, had five different posting accounts. It was kind of bananas. And we would draw the ire of certain people. And I remember this chick. She was so pissed at us that she made it her mission to flag all of our ads. Then when she found out that she, it wasn't enough, then she went out and recruited people to flag her ads. And then when she found out that wasn't enough, then she went ahead and got even more people to flag her ads. And then they started to come down. And she wrote me a letter letting me know all of this, what she had done, how much she didn't like the fact that we were taking so much of the Craigslist real estate. She was very, very determined. I was more determined. I took her email address and I went to various sites and that didn't yield anything. And then I took her name, still didn't get anything. And I worked on this all day. I didn't go to lunch. I just barely went to the bathroom. Then I kept looking at her emails and then I found out who she was. I found out where she was. And once I gathered this information, I sent her an email stating, I know where you live. And she was like, so does every other person in Alabama. I said, okay, all right. So at this point, I'm mad. I am determined to get, a, to get some retribution from her. I am determined to make her submit. I am determined to make her leave us alone. Back then, we had the Craigslist erotica section. I had her phone number, I had her email address. So I went and found some Tatri bimbo and I posted her email address and her phone number. She was literally bombarded with all of these strange and indecent proposals that she's like, did you give out my address? I was like, what are you talking about? You just need to leave us alone. I don't know, maybe it'll go away. At this point, she had to get her number changed because the calls were so intense. And she's like, stop, please. And I wrote her an email, very professional. I was like, look, I don't know what's going on with you. However, I'll look around. But you need to leave us alone. I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever. So I called off the dogs, and she never flagged another ad. No one else did anything. Now, what made that happen? Now, I know that sounds like a crazy story and that sounds like I broke some laws and essentially those laws were not in place when I did this, so I did not break them. What happened was I was determined. What you need in business is to be determined, to be pissed off, to be so, I don't care what these people say, I don't care what they're doing, I'm gonna do this thing. When I was in the storage auction business, one guy's like, hey, don't turn this into a full-time business. I turned into a full-time business for almost 10 years because I was determined. Determined should not be conflated with passion. When someone did something to you and it was wrong and you want some get back, was that passion or was that determination? You need to dig deep into whoever you are, wherever you are, and find your inner determination, your inner pissed off person, and lead with that. Because I don't care how much money someone else has, I don't care what they're doing, but if you are like Genghis Khan, I will come for you. I am that determined. You will start to see some results. You will start to see some people like, um, I don't think I need to mess with this person. Uh, I think I need to get out of their way or I need to assist them. You got to become that maniacal, crazy person. And I mean in a decent way, not in a legal breaking people's legs way. No, that's wrong. Don't do that. I'm talking about in a chip on your shoulder kind of way that, you know, people have said things, people have wounded you, people have just touch some tender parts of your underbelly without your permission, and you want a little get back. You want a little, I told you I was gonna do this. When I first started this YouTube channel, and I started making different type of content, I had people tell me like, hey Glendon, you know man, you and your storage auction stuff is really good, but you know, you shouldn't talk about this, or you shouldn't have talked about this. What I said to those people, I am not going to say, but it was something heinous, it was something saucy, and it was something downright nasty. 
And I was like, hey, 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 man, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I was like, you are not going to tell me what I should do. I'm on this lease platform, fine. But you know what? As long as they let me lease and I pay all the bills, I can do what I want. And you're not going to talk to me that way. You are not going to talk to them that way. And you know what? He apologized because I went off on people. I was that crazy person and in the store shopping game. You know, first few months, I was getting my butt handed to me. Man, I was like, well, come on, man, I, can I get a unit? Then one day I got mad. I got pissed off. I got determined. Then I lit into someone and it's like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And don't, don't, don't be doing that, man. This is just fun and games. No, it ain't fun and games. I'm here to win. I'm here to get me some pretty units. I want to go home with some winners. I ran out of money. But I remember the power. I remember the fear. I remember that moment. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get me some more money. And then a few months later, I started challenging people. And I took L's. I lost. I got garbage units. I had units dumped on me. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep doing it. Because once you start doing this, you cannot relent. You cannot come back. You cannot, like, submit. You can't, like, oh, you know, I'm not going to do it today. Every day you got to be out there with the same energy and enthusiasm. You got to be going for it. You got to be scaring people. You got to be shaking trees, you know, digging up concrete. You got to be that person, like, running around with your hair on fire. And then... Even with all that, people still ain't going to respect you because they're going to try you. They're going to test you. They're going to play games with you. But see, most people can't keep this up for a prolonged period of time. And that's what I learned because I was like digging in Sam's butt, I was digging in Snowball's butt. I was messing with the Clampus. I was just like having fun. It became like this game. It's like, how much money can I make you spend today? And all of a sudden, I started getting better units for less money. It was like, well, this kind of unit, I am not going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Now, in a really nice, super fragile, catalytic unit, yeah, they would go crazy. But I started to get respect. I started putting some respect on my name. It's like, oh, I remember there was some noobs out there, and there was this one guy. He kind of looked like Carrot Top. He had red hair and freckles, but he, you know, he, he smoked cigarettes and more than likely did a little meth, so he had that kind of look. And I remember he was whispering, it's like, don't mess with him. Don't get him started. It's like, well, just don't get him started. So this newbie, he's like, he saw this unit and he saw a boat or something that he really wanted. And he was like trying to test me. And I was like, oh, I had already peeped out the, the Mac tool. So I knew I could spend three grand on this unit. So I just taught him a lesson. I toned him up and went all the way up. And I was like, boom, 2,800 bucks. I stopped bidding and he kept bidding. And the Mac toolbox was empty. And the boat was broke and it was a loser unit. Then the next unit, I was like, all right, who's ready to start bid? Let's go. hundred dollars. Let's get it right. Right. And this, this person, he, he, he didn't bid anymore. I think he was broke. I think he was disappointed. I think I had crushed his little feelings. I was toying with his emotions. Then Carrot Top over there, like, oh, God, here we go, here we go. Because he, he was spinning out. He was, like, good for 200 250 He'd tap out. Snowball, he would go to the top unless he was broke. Uh, the Clampets, they just had endless supplies of money, but they were getting old and they wanted to tangle. And then there was Sam Yang, and he was messing around. And what I learned is when you become a protracted, determined person, not just being determined for one day or two days, but where you're willing to do this month after month after month after month. People's like, I don't want to mess with that. It's kind of like that that bear. The the bear is just doesn't mess with anybody. The bear is out in the wood doing bear stuff. And then you mess with the bear and he slaps your face off. And he's like, okay, I'm not messing with that bear anymore. That's kind of what happens. And then your reputation, and I think this is in the 48 Laws of Power. Your reputation precedes you. I have gone out to auctions with little to no money. I was like, oh, God, today they're going to find out that I don't have no money, right? Then it was like, oh, God, oh, God, it's Debo, it's Debo, it's Debo, right? And then I would just get the units for super cheap. And I was like, wow, who knew a reputation can make you some money? And what I'm telling you is this, this one thing you need is this maniacal, crazy determination. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how poor you are. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, or a girl with one leg. If you are determined, and this one girl with this one leg, she, she did a beauty contest. She was, she was hot. She was a one-legged hot chick, so it worked out. She won. But whoever you are, if you become determined from 
the core of your soul, you will get results. You'll move mountains. You'll make money. You'll have fun. So that's all I got for y'all today. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out the playlist below. Get that mind set up to become a little determined because once you become that determined person, nobody can stop you, man. You can be like five, six, dating a six-foot chick, and she like it. She does. Seriously. Ha, ha, ha.